What's up, everybody? It's Johnny, and today is the day. MLB The Show 19 gameplay trailer has been released. I'm going to play it for you in its entirety next, and then afterwards we'll go through it and break it down. Yeah. <laughs> Just a Sunday. It's about to be epic. Look, I get it rocking like a cradle. I never so but I was able to see my partners make the world bread without the stable while packing something that make it tough spin like dreidel. Oh, I hung around them shells like April. Oh, Neil, oh, feel me when I get to saying it's so real. Folk will think that it's entertaining till fly, no subliminal. Yeah, the gift of carrying torches. Sometimes I get nervous as a suitor that's entering courtship. Oh, then I get to feeling euphoric. Holy flow, every bar low key should be pinned in the oh. And look at she so gorgeous, she be with me whether I was flipping a Tesla or a Taurus. Oh. Lame ducks be like, what pond you from? I tell them harder than when monsoons come. And they chase cheese, only dipping when that fondue come. And run that base till they heart go out just like you, son. And look, this for my partners who low-key pitching around. And those that laughed at me when I stayed at my mama house. My pocket's fatter now. My mama see something to brag about. And I spit punches and bunches like I'm Marvin Hackler now. So what'd y'all think of that? Pretty amazing stuff that they showed off and so much packed into so little time. Oh gosh, then we started with uh, right off the bat, we're in Fenway, you see Sale and then Price, and then it cuts to, looks like to be road to the show, uh, where you get to see your character sleeping on the plane. Uh, that <laughs> itself is not new, but the graphics look to be new for the plane interior. Uh, then you go on to see the, the player creation, and there's a bunch of new UI and graphical elements there for putting your player together for the archetypes, archetypes for example. And then we go into something completely new that, I mean, it, it just looks rather interesting. So in the previous versions of Road to the Show, when you had to do training missions or whatever there was, you would just you know, press the X button or whatever to accept whatever mission. This one, it looks like you actually have to do some input. So if you can see on the screenshot that I've got over here, here, I think it's this way, maybe it's this way. <laughs> I think it's over here. Um, anyway, on, on the other side of the screen from me <laughs> is a screenshot. And it, it if you look at it, you can see the L1 and R1. Uh, so that'll be very, very cool to check out and see how they're going to implement that in, into your into your training. Like if you mess up, does your training not be, is it not as effective? Do you not get as many points? If you do it perfectly, do you get a bonus? I don't know. It'd be very, very interesting to find that out. Next, we go into the stat, uh, stat improvement type missions and they show the new UI for that. So pretty cool. And oh boy, do we have a whole bunch of new animations. Oh gosh! Uh, so the first thing we see in, after we do the be um, after we do the road to the show stuff is Tony Gwynn in a couple of different uh, Padres uniforms, swinging the bat, and he's sliding home. After that, you see Yasiel Puig; he's cheering. Uh, then Ro Jose Ramirez with a bat flip, and followed right by Rizzo with slamming the bat down. <laughs> wow, uh, after that you have Chris Sale on the mound and he's celebrating so it looks like they might have done a little bit to change some of the the pitcher celebrations which have been pretty stagnant. Um, let's see after that what do we have? Oh we have uh, some new uh, double play animations so um, Spangenberg twisting a double play over to Aguilar. You've got uh, after that, we've got McCutcheon, and you see McCutcheon in his Phillies uniform, and, and then you see sort of, a, I guess, a retro version of McCutcheon, where he's got his long hair and dreadlocks and his, and his Pirates gear. Uh, and then you see Trumbo taken off in the, in the outfield towards a fly ball. Wow, I mean, just so much stuff here. Let's see, after this, we've got uh, Swanson, and he's slapping a tag on Franco and then gunning it home. And then you see that it looks like a new catcher 
slap tag animation on the runner sliding in. Um, wow, and then you see Chapman tossing it across the diamond from third. Tossing is probably the wrong word. Sends a missile across the diamond from third to first. Then we get a new umpire animation. So you see Arenado and he sends one down the third base line and the umpire ducks and looks sort you know watches down the line as the ball bounces off the chalk and calls it fair so that looks to be a new animation as well and of course then you've got you know griffey climbing the wall to rob a home run so I, I, all kinds of new stuff in this thing and next we've got uh what they called the relive history section and they showed some a bunch of different legends players and current players and i don't know if there was you know trying to promote like a a new diamond dynasty mode or a new if they were just saying hey you can combine all of your you know legends and current players into your favorite you know team structure so i, I don't know I, it'll be interesting to find out if, if i'm reading too much into that um but they started with kendall then they moved on to Giancarlo Stanton, hammering one. Uh, then Dibble, you see his windup and delivery. And then you see Springer hit one, and then he crosses the plate and does his uh, you know, home run celebration. Then you see him again in the dugout talking to his teammates. After that, you see the, the D-backs outfield uh, celebrating. And that looks like it might again come from the road to the show stuff, where we saw a lot of you know during the career or when you're playing your career if your team wins you'll see the little celebration that's one of the animations you see so i don't know where exactly that came from but still pretty cool stuff to see and let's see then we have oh the the the, the coolest one i thought anyway was the ground the grounder to first base where muncie is sliding the ball bounces in and out of his glove and he gets up and you know, tracks it down, picks it up bare hand, and flips it over to Kershaw covering the bag. Very cool animation there. Um, let's see. Finally, you see Aguilar, you know, just hitting a moonshot and dropping his bat. And after that, then you see some of the different, uh, you see some of the different game modes, right? So you see first the Babe Rube, Babe Rube, <laughs> the Babe Ruth career, which, uh, you know, all of the rest were blanked with question marks, but now I'm assuming this is going to be, you know, the replacement for panels for the programs that we have in 18. Um, you know, maybe you'll see like the immortal arcs or whatever. You have to move on up through his career. And it tells talks about his career in the upper right. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, then you have these this unknown mode. And again, maybe maybe this is already exists in 18. And I just don't recognize it because I typically have I've never played franchise. So if this is how franchise looks or starts, then maybe that's this is a new UI for it. Otherwise, you know, I don't know. So guys, go ahead and leave a comment below to educate me on what this might be. But it's the you can see it in the screenshot that there's the contenders and the long shots and you're picking you know your team and, and stuff so I, I just don't know what it is but it looked pretty cool so i snapped the screen and put it over there and you guys can tell me what it is and then what i thought was the a shot of the vr draft but it isn't if you look down the bottom right it's actually a choice pack opening so this is a new animation right or a new thing a, a new thing where you've got the ability to look through the car, look through the cards in the pack, scroll across, check out all of the stats that you want, and then go ahead and you know pick your card. So I don't know if it's you know these packs are going to be regularly for sale on the market or you know from Sony you know with stubs. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to find out. You know in the alpha there. Well, I don't know if I can talk about that, so I won't. <laughs> but. But, you know, this choice pack seems to be a new addition as well. And, of course, you have the, the conquest, you know, mode is going to be back. You saw the map and they kind of tweaked it a little bit to look like a 19, so that was kind of cute. But finally, the very final thing you see in the trailer, everything sort of, sh they, they, the, st the song stops and you get the old, you know, old time, like, movie, film countdown, three, two, one, it's all black and white. And you can tell, right? I mean, most of us, I think, knew what it was going to be just from the, the start of it when you see the, the running. But it starts to pan out, and it's Willie Mays with the catch at Polo Grounds.
awesome job with the uh, with the animation on that. I, I'm, I'm psyched, and I can't wait to see you know can't wait to see Willie Mays in the game, see what they do with them. But well, that's it, guys. So thanks for uh, thanks for sticking around and watching the breakdown. I appreciate it. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and make sure to put a like on the video and click that little bell so you get notified every time I put new stuff out. Thanks for watching. See ya.